really heartbreaking to all of us to have to witness this destruction. Really got a feel for these people out there. Tonight, a call for help from Saratoga County to the New York State Capitol and Washington even. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik is currently urging the state and the feds for help after a lot of neighbors in her district are stuck rebuilding after July's devastating storms and even a couple tornadoes. Stella Porter is now here with an update on how they're all putting it back together. Stella. Yes, yeah, Steve, it's been difficult. I've been talking to neighbors in Edinburgh, Saratoga County since that tornado and microburst just devastated their community. They're just one town right now in need of help. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik is urging Governor Kathy Hochul to request a presidential disaster declaration for widespread flooding on July 10th. And just days ago, Stefanik joined a letter with members of New York's Republican congressional delegation. They're asking the Biden administration for a presidential disaster declaration for the July 16th storms. Stefanik's team has been in touch with residents we spoke to following July 16th to understand what their community needs to rebuild. FEMA could help communities pay for a massive amount of debris removal, plus sheltering and search and rescue. You may remember several tornadoes and microbursts left a trail of destruction across upstate New York that day. People in Saratoga and Warren counties were left with serious damage to their homes and properties and left in the dark for days. This is video we captured when we could only get to folks stuck along the Great Sacandaga Lake by boat. Communities are still picking up the pieces. Neighbors say they're working every day to recover from the storms. After weeks of work from professional tree cutters, loggers, government agencies, we're making progress, but what was once a beautiful, lush landscape is unfortunately becoming what more closely represents a barren wasteland. And that video um, from neighbor Al Sofin was just sent to me a couple minutes ago. It's more than two weeks after that storm and when we took this video and he just spent the entire day cleaning once again before sending me that. And just a quick note, any requests for federal assistance must be submitted within 30 days. Steve, back to you. Such a difficult situation over there. Thank you, Stella, for staying on top of it.